You just don't assume, uh, assume the identity of a deceased nine-year-old boy and live that life. He was running for something. The mystery of Joseph Newton Chandler ranks among Northeast Ohio's most perplexing unsolved cases right after the disappearances of Amy Mihaljevic and Beverly Ponce. I can't say what that thing was he was running from. Based on my experiences, it's something that was pretty bad in the past. The man we'll call Chandler for now moved to Ohio in 1978. He lived a quiet life. He later worked at Lubrizol and didn't get out much. We caught up with the former co-worker of Chandler's. He described the man as odd. What exactly does odd mean? What did he do? Well, Joe was, uh, he didn't, he was very shy or he didn't want to be bothered by anybody. He didn't want to talk to other people. It was only in death that Chandler did stand out. In 2002, he put a gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Police couldn't find Chandler's next of kin. Turns out the real Joseph Newton Chandler died before reaching 10 in 1945, along with his parents in a traffic accident in Weatherford, Texas. Investigators know our John Doe used the dead boy's personal information to get a social security card in Rapid City, South Dakota. That was 1978. He was living right here for that many amount of years and uh, under somebody else's name and nobody can figure out why. There are some theories about Chandler's true identity. The most popular among internet sleuths is that of the Zodiac Killer who taunted and terrorized Northern California in the 1960s and 70s. Could this man, an elderly loner who lived and died in East Lake, Ohio, be the Zodiac? Both had a knack for electrical engineering. Anytime the other background noise was bothering him, he had this device and it was wired through earphones and it had a wire down into his pocket and he would just push it and you would hear white noise. Some investigators put Chandler in California around the time of the Zodiac murders, but this lead seems to go cold. There is a lot of speculation on the internet and so on and so on that he looked and resembled the Zodiac killer. We're not ruling anything out with anybody because we just don't know. Another internet theory, Chandler was Stephen Campbell a Cheyenne, Wyoming engineer, wanted for attempted murder. The list goes on and on, but one thing is certain. The guy was a ghost. He's, it's, at this point, we have no idea who he was.